Tonight, we are going 360, bringing you a rare inside look at Rocky Flats National Wildlife Refuge and the trail set to open to the public. Now, just this week, a new lawsuit was filed calling for a stop to that plan, and the decision to open the area, what used to be a former nuclear weapons plant, is controversial with arguments about whether the land is even safe for hiking and biking and recreation. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi takes us on a tour of Rocky Flats for this 360 journey. <laughs> A true look inside the controversy, behind the gates at Rocky Flats, behind the sign that says close to the public. Let's start with new opposition this week. Activists filed a lawsuit. They don't want any recreation on this land. They argue a full environmental analysis was not done and say there's still evidence plutonium and other hazardous materials exist here. And you will see from page three of our complaint that the Greenway Trail, the biggest trail out there, goes right over these residually contaminated soils. Here's some context. $7.7 billion was spent to clean up this Superfund site with a Cold War past. The land is currently a wildlife refuge, and even on a rainy day like today, it's beautiful. We saw elk, deer, and lots of birds. <laughs> And how about this for a different view? It's the Lindsay Ranch Loop, a 1.2 mile trail set to open to the public. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service can't talk about the pending litigation, but said it would not be proposing to open Rocky Flats to public access if they weren't confident that the area is safe for public use. I asked that question last May. For people who have kids, for people who live in the area, do you believe it's safe? I do believe it's safe. I've taken my kids there. Another view, Elizabeth Pansner worries about kids and anyone else visiting the site. She lives two miles away and her son has cancer. It's awful. I would not want any other family to go through that. And they will say that there's no connection, but it's rare cancer. And so there never, there's not enough studies on the rare cancers. On the other hand, David Abelson with the Rocky Flats Stewardship Council points to the extensive cleanup and says he believes it's safe. I firmly believe that the standards which have been set by federal law are uh, being met. Let's bring it back. Hiking at Rocky Flats is ultimately your choice. Do you want to go? Do you think it's safe? Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. So what do you think here? Would you hike there? Will you hike there? Are they right to file this lawsuit? Email us, 360 at thedenverchannel.com. You can also send us a message on Facebook or Twitter, and I promise you we read them all.